For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's always got a new offense for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a series of amazing trick plays out of the Baltimore Ravens offense. I just dropped a full Baltimore Ravens ebook. Links in the description. You guys can get that on my Patreon, on my website, all that stuff. Link in the description below. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the first offensive series that you should be running if you decide to pick up that book. I've already put out a couple offenses. I already put out uh, some run plays and some pass plays. I'll have links in the description for that as well if you guys didn't catch those. But the Ravens is one of my favorite playbooks every year. I said this since the very beginning of Madden 22. This is going to be one of my favorite playbooks, and I'm going to start that off today by showing you one of the glitchiest run play formations in the game. The formation itself is out of the pistol. If you followed my uh, channel last year when I was running the pistol playbook, there's so many plays in this formation that are pretty much from that exact uh, series of plays. So we're going to go, we're going to start off, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to put these plays in our audibles. We're just going to pick the best plays. There's a couple. I really don't even know what the best one is. I know my favorite ones are the triple option which i'll have number one i'm not saying it's my favorite but it's definitely one of the best the one of the other best ones is definitely the triple option slip i love the trick plays in this particular formation the power option is another one and then last but not least we'll put uh, the triple option switch so there's four plays here three of which are triple option plays they all have the ability to either hand off the play or flip it to the running back and that's not even the end of the, of the series there's so many great run plays in this the counter the stretch alert looky i don't know how many of these plays i'll actually get to on youtube here but if you guys want to see a full breakdown i definitely have that on my uh, on my patreon so check that out i also have some pass plays on there including the uh, 494 f flat which is a cover three one play touchdown on current gen consoles last but not least let's go ahead and let's substitute out this fullback because he's going to get the ball a lot so we're going to make sure we put uh, jk dobbins in there because we want speed at both spots now for the fifth play i'll pick the stretch alert x looky it's probably deserves to be uh towards the top i mean it's still kind of a trick play which is the theme of this video there's so many great trick plays in this and stretch lord x looky qualifies because at least it is an rpo so let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side i guess i'll just go random four three because they have more options now before getting the video as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeah.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is click the link in the description and use discount code money to get three percent off what's already some of the cheapest coins on the market now as far as the plays go the stretch is probably the most basic if you have something like this this entire series of plays all these plays you're pretty much just going to be looking at what side of the field you have outside leverage on which basically means like you have your tight end on the right side if he is outside of the wise blocker you can run any number of these plays the stretch play obviously is the most is the easiest and most obvious uh, but you can see all you really have to do is get outside i'm not going to go over that too much this is a really good goal line play though i will go over that because a lot of people have been asking me like what's a really good goal line option and this is something red zone plays this is one of the better ones to use because a lot of people like to run a lot of man zero blitzes and a play like this i mean you're guaranteed to get that five yards so stretch alert lookies are made for goal line so i'm not going to go over the stretch too much because obviously that's something that's pretty obvious but pretty much every one of these plays you're pretty much going to take to the outside so it's really up to you which one you think is the best i probably think the triple option is probably the easiest and the you know the best one to run now as far as this look goes i could run this to either side number one i could hold it to this guy and basically just take it as wide as possible a lot of times you could cut that up in short too if, the, if they're too spread you can take this inside which is one of the benefits of this particular play um, you could also go the opposite direction if i don't really think that it's there i could go the other way and flip that out and have a very big play with that cornerback which is waiting there but you can see how you could really go either side and have an explosive play let's go let's do that i'm gonna keep running that triple option slip because i really think that at the end of the day i mean you can hold it with the quarterback too if they don't react and that's one of the things that when it comes to this particular series of runs a lot of time they won't pursue to the quarterback because the the running back is just sitting out there waiting for the pitch so if you have a mobile quarterback you can really take advantage of that the pitch is to me is typically the play but i mean look how this guy he's making a beeline right for that pitch so you have to read the defenders around there a lot of times they won't even go after the ball carrier because they're going for the pitch first so be aware of that you can definitely make a lot of big plays with the quarterback as long as you don't force the pitch now when it comes to the triple option if you have a spread alignment like we do here you can take this inside you don't have to go all the way outside wide although you can see that's still the general direction that you're going to travel but you can see there's an opportunity if the defense is spread 
like they were here. Let's go and let's go back to the replay. If you have this guy out too far, obviously you don't want to try to beat him to the edge because he's going to come outside, he's going to beat you. But you can see I just have a huge hole opening up right in between, and that's a perfect opportunity just to take that, and you're still going to end up going stretching it wide based off the fact that the safeties are going to force you that way. But this is still one of the better ways to run this play. Just run it up inside, let that defensive end take himself out of the play. So here's another snare. I could really go either way with that triple option. I could try, I could hold it and try to go strong side, or I could just go weak side. And you can see once again, they're just not, uh, you know, and they are, I, didn't, I even pitched it to the running back. I pitched it to, <laughs> he pitched it to the wrong guy, but it still worked out as we get a big play. I didn't even know you could do that. We're learning new stuff together, but you can see there's just a ton of really good options here. So let's go and let's move on from the triple option. I think we've, I think we put that to bed. Although here's another scenario, even though, you know, that defensive end is out wide, I could easily hand this off, go the other way. That's probably the most consistent run this formation. It's one of the easiest run plays to run, and you're going to have a lot of success going in both directions, which like I said, will drive your opponent crazy. My second favorite play is probably the triple option switch. I loved this play last year. Uh, it's really pretty much the same thing. All you're really going to do, I mean, once again, they're just going to keep leaving the quarterback out here, but look at how they're just giving me so much space. That's a 50-yard walk. I don't even know what happened there. I just called it against the right defense. So this is a perfect look for this play because you can see on the left here, you have a cover three box safety. It looks like they're overshifted. This is the perfect scenario to run the counter, which is going to be this play. And you'll see this look online based on the fact that I spent so much time already and I'll spend so much time in games running the first play, running the triple option where I'm basically going wide with this fullback to the left. You're going to see people start shifting in that direction to try to take it away when they see his formation. Perfect timing to hit him with this particular play. Now on this particular play here, we have them committing straight to the uh, the handoff, which it makes this even easier. The second you commit to that handoff, I mean, look at this. I'm I'm there's like 20 to 30 yards between me and the closest two defenders. There's only two guys out here. One of them gets blocked right away. The other one follows the potential pitch, which you know once I'm 10 yards down the field and running past them. This Prussian, and he tackles him to boot, which I didn't even notice. They're tackling this guy as if he has the ball. Meanwhile, I'm just sprinting down the field with nobody anywhere near me. I mean, this is a super glitchy series of run plays, and you're seeing it all right here. So here we go once again. Here's a scenario, like I said, I can go that triple option again, can hand it off right up the gut, and just take, you know, take some positive yards. If they're not covering the center, that's going to be the safest play. And I got 15 against a 4-3, which really shouldn't happen that easily. So those are my two most used plays. The triple option, which I can really go either side, but I find handing it to the fullback will be the most effective. And the triple option switch, which I can hand right up the gut, or I can flip outside. This is another good look. I could easily run the triple option switch. But let's go and let's move on to the power option and the triple option slip. These are very similar in the same vein as far as their wide looping runs in one direction. Power option, you don't really have another option though, but let's go and let's do that because they're kind of packed in tight. Anytime you have a tightly packed box like this, all the linebackers are in tight. You can definitely give this a go. I don't find this is necessarily, you know, they definitely pursue this play a lot better than they did last year. I think I abused this play a little bit too much in the pistol playbook. And now you can see they really pursue well, but still, once again, overloaded to this to the weak side we're gonna go we're gonna go strong side we're gonna flip this out nine times out of ten as you can see right there he, he still reacted to the running back he didn't even react to the quarterback i ran past him before flipping it out let's watch the replay like i said on this play here it really seems like they react and like i said i i killed this play last year he didn't even look at the quarterback i still get past him and throw it in front of him so you know i could easily held that with the quarterback and kept running this is something where last year they didn't really react to the running back really well so you could tell that they patched this here we got that full out blitz this is another scenario. I could either go trip or power option. We'll go ahead and we'll go triple option slip though, because I have a little bit more blocking, and that's kind of going to be the play here. So now you can see the tight end goes across. Here we can hold it, flip it out. Like I said, quarterback a lot of times he can become a blocker, but you can see there I also used him as a diversion. When running these option plays, you want to hold it with the quarterback as long as possible. As you can see right here, this guy's going to tackle me. If I throw it too early, he's going to move on. He's probably going to catch my dude in the backfield for a loss. So if I hold it long enough that I suck him in to basically tackle me or at least make a reaction. You can see how I, number one, I got in the way. I kind of made myself a blocker, but ultimately this is going to give you running back the best opportunity to succeed if you hold that pitch as long as possible. If you pitch it too early, it can be a little bit of a problem because it can really mess everything up. So here we go once again. Here's another scenario. I'm gonna run this because I already ran the other plays enough 
and you can see here once again we're holding it with lamar like i said if, if there's nothing really if i have a fast enough quarterback and there's nothing out there miles is holding the quarterback there's no real chance anything can go bad but i could have easily did the flip too i could easily did the pitch as you can see here once again this formation is so glitchy look how the entire defense just suctions in and then within a couple of yards i've got nothing but 30 yards of green grass and i could pitch it out if my if my running back's faster than my quarterback by all means pitch it out you'll lose a little acceleration but pitch it out uh this is a scenario where i felt it was best just to hold it because i know lamar's really fast but you can see i mean these plays are so broken you're getting so much separation instantly just from the fake handoffs so here's another play like i said i'm gonna go right back to that triple option switch they're over committed we're gonna hold it once again. Like I said, he's he's going towards the running back. You know what I mean? It's like that guy, that cornerback there. I just have to watch. He's cornerback's going right towards the running back, and I'm just walking this down the field. 50-yard touchdown runs. As you can see, once again, they're just reacting more to the fakes than anything. Here's another one. You got your your you know triple option slip option right here. The defensive ends out wide. Like see, this to me is like I said, it's the most it's the most consistent, but it's the least explosive. But I'm still gonna run that nine times out of ten. I'm gonna go to one of these other plays when I'm really trying to get a a more explosive option here's another play you know I could, I could easily go with the switch set hand it off get some nice easy yards up the gut it's these small plays that will get your opponent thinking that's all you have and then you can bust one of these really big plays so here's a play uh we got that full we got that safety in the box i'm gonna go we'll go triple option uh slip here once again just to kind of you know now i have a block advantage now that now that tight end came across the fullback or the uh the, the safety didn't change and we flip it out got ourselves a one-on-one -on -one here not the best running back necessarily could make that guy miss but ultimately you can see I mean every time I make these pitches or these flips I'm just running in space here's a scenario this looks like a couple four quarters so I'm gonna go power option I'm gonna try to beat these guys outside here and then we get it done and you can see here I mean I just wish I had a much the same type of speed advantage that I had with Lamar but you can see we're having success all over the place every one of these run plays is having success and to me like I said it's one of the most broken running formations in the game uh, I'm gonna save the rest of these run plays and some of the pass plays uh, for the full breakdown if you guys want to see a full breakdown on YouTube Woo! as always hit the like button and let me know in the comment section but for now it's just going to be on my Patreon and in my ebook and other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.